Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. Today I'm going to show you how to fold an origami cover for your handmade books. This cover will work for many different styles of book, but I recently made a video showing you how to fold an accordion book, and this type of cover is especially great for books made in that concertina style. At the absolute bare bones, to make this you'll need your book and a piece of paper to use as the cover. It's also useful to have a bone folder tool for making crisp folds, a metal ruler for tearing and cutting, and a cutting mat to help you eyeball your measurements. The first measurement that you'll need to make is to tear or cut your paper to twice the height of your book. Always err on the side of overestimating your measurements. You can always take away extra material later, but it's much more complicated to add that material back in. I like to make two very small light folds to mark my place and then I tear the paper using a metal ruler. You can cut your paper instead of tearing it if you want to. I tear mine because I find the torn edge more visually interesting and it's also a bit more forgiving when it comes to accuracy. The next measurement to take is to tear your paper to the length of two covers, the spine, and then two more covers again. This will give you enough paper to ensure that the book pages are held securely in place by the cover. Again, make this measurement a little longer than you need to and tear any excess length away later. My cover paper turned out to be almost exactly the right width, so I didn't need to make any adjustments at this point. When you have your cover paper torn to the size you need, it's time to start folding it. Flip the cover paper over centre the book and make a small pinch mark in the cover at its base. Carefully fold the base up across the width of the book. I'm using an old reduction lino cut print that has a lot of ink on it as my cover. So I found it a bit easier to put a scrap piece of paper over the printed side when I was making my folds, as this just helped the bone folder pass over it a bit more smoothly. Use that same type of measurement again to make the top fold, using the insides of your book to reference the size. At this point, you might need to cut or tear down one of the inner flaps to size to get rid of any of the overlapping edges. You basically want those two edges to meet in the centre. If my torn edge is a bit too messy, I lightly score it with a utility knife and then I pull away the raggedy bits. Find the centre of your cover and fold one side of it in where you want the spine to start.
When that's done, use your book pages to mark out the other side of the spine and fold that in as well. When the spine's been folded, use your book again to measure where the front and back covers will start and end and fold these in. If the inner pockets on your covers are too wide, you can tear them down to size at this point as well. You want the pockets to finish just short of the spine. If you're using this to cover an accordion book and it has an extra fold, tear this off so that you can slide the two end pages into the pockets. I made the mistake of not quite tearing my extra page far enough along and I had a little trouble fitting the last page snugly into the pocket. If your book isn't quite fitting properly, pull it out and shorten the end pages a little like I did. If you've made an accordion book, it might still be quite springy at this point. You can weigh it down lightly with something so that the folds relax into place, or just put it on a shelf between some books, and it won't take long for the folds to stop springing out. And that's how you make a folded origami cover for your books. This is definitely one of my favourite book cover methods because it's easy, it's fast, it looks great and it doesn't use up too many resources. If you enjoyed this video, please consider heading over to my Patreon and supporting me there. There are some good tier levels set up with different benefits available and every little bit of support helps me make my videos better. 
I'll have some different book cover videos ready soon. So subscribe, like, share and comment and I'll see you soon. Cheers.